The whole country is going to be watching this ball game just to see how UW responds after their loss against USC a week ago. Cannot wait to watch Jake Browning and this offense come out. Now, when you look at this ball game from a personnel standpoint, think about it. You got Manny Wilkins, Jake Browning, two of the top young quarterbacks in this conference, let alone the country. You got Tim White at wide receiver, Mikhail Harry, dominant wideouts for ASU. And then, oh, by the way, John Ross, All American, <laughs> Miles Gaskin, big time running back, Dante Pettis, Chico McClatch. You got skill players for days in this ball game. There might be big time points with this offense, but I really cannot wait to watch both these quarterbacks against the opposing defense. Now, for Manny Wilkins, going up against the defense is completed. Joe Mathis, we know he's been out. Azeem Victor now out after getting hurt against USC. How does he attack the middle of the field? How does he deal with the rush off the edge? Because UW's only going to bring about four. They very rarely blitz. Can Manny Wilkins get back to being the guy we saw early this season? Then, of course, Jake Browning. He's known as a guy who can dissect defense, who gets into the film room. Well, he's going to see blitzes from all over the place from this ASU defense. Can he understand where it's coming from and make them pay with big plays, intermediate routes, and, of course, check down to his back. If he can, it's going to be a big win for UW. ASU, their back is against the wall if they want to go bowling. Cannot wait to see how they respond. And then, of course, UW in a raucous atmosphere in Seattle. It should be wild as they are still on a hunt for a college football playoff berth. It's going to be a fun one. It's at 4.30 Pacific on Fox.